Hi guys, once again, great to be with you. My name is Yanni, my wife is Lazelle, so we are Yazel Travels. And uh, we have traveled uh, over five continents, 22 countries thus far. And uh, we would just like to share those, those experiences with you guys. So, uh, so subscribe to our channel, join us, like every page uh, or every post, and we will really uh, love to have you part of these adventures. So we are in Costa Rica at the moment. and. Uh, we, uh, in a previous video, we, we explained that we flew into San Jose, which is the capital, and then we drove all the way down to, uh, to a beach town of Haku, and uh, that's where we are today. We're going to take it from there. Uh, on the previous video, we, we went and we explored the north coast. From now on here, yeah, we're going to do the, on this video, we're going we're gonna to look onto the, the southern coast of Haku. Uh, we rented a scooter, and... Uh, Renting that scooter took us about, uh, we paid about $50 for the, for the rent and then two days later we realized we could have rented a car for $50, which we then did actually. And uh, so, we are, so in this video we, uh, we are uh, going down uh, with a scooter to the southern beaches of, uh, of Haku, about 45 kilometers we traveled. And then we turned around, had a meal there and came back again, I'm going to share that with you. And then we, uh, we, we rented a car the very next day and we went on to Monte Verde uh, on the way there. We never made it to Monte Verde up in the mountains simply because um, uh, we, the bookings that I made in the mountains with a beautiful little cottage, which I thought was a beautiful little cottage, didn't pan out to be exactly that. And we decided to, to cut that one short and to, uh, to come and to go back to, to San Jose again. So, so join us on this uh, on this journey. Right, on the scooter we have been taking a bit of a, a turn in at this place for, for the scooter. This granny, granny, traveling with me and the granny, the granny, and we are at the place called Este de los Usta. And down there. Uh, yeah, this is about it. Absolutely beautiful. Interesting enough that the beach on this side is uh, actually way nicer, much much nicer than it is at the side of at the, at the where we were with Haku. And uh, the sand is more beautiful. Uh, the beach down there, way way nicer. Uh, where the sand at Haku was very, very black, very dark. Yeah, it's uh, really very, the beach is beautiful, really nice. The mermaid sitting on the beach watching out. And here is my own blonde mermaid.
So we got back on the scooter and we started to drive uh, down the same beach that we were just looking at. We've been ex exactly at the same spot uh, the whole time. And uh, this is really a beautiful area. There's a, there's a truckload of, uh, of coconuts coming past us right there. And uh, there's such beautiful houses in the area where the beach just literally on the other side of the road. With a beautiful, beautiful sandy beach, just clear, crystal clear water. And uh, I was really surprised to see how nice the houses are here, the gardens, really beautiful. As well as uh, when you look at the beaches, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, when compared to the Caribbean side, where everybody makes a big fuss about, I don't think they stand far back for the Caribbean side. Honestly, this is absolutely beautiful. So we started driving all the way to Parita, where would be our turning point. We also had a meal here, and uh, what we will be doing here, uh, this, this place here, it's like a buffet kind of a meal. You, you decide what you want to eat, you pay per plate. And uh, I was completely surprised at the amount of rice and beans they dish up for you. And uh, black beans and rice are quite a popular this meal in this place. That's fish, also fish and salad on that side. And um, we had a very nice time here, yeah, it was great, this was our turning point, Parito, and then we went back again to uh, Haku, and this is where we now find my gorgeous wife walking in Haku, Hola. back in Haku. Hola. 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 Como es más? Ah, good and hot. <laughs> So at this point we rented a car for the next week and we headed uh, out of Haku uh, towards Monteverde and uh, we actually never made it to Monteverde and we ended up with this little cottage here in the mountains which I did not really think it was uh, what the way it was. I was expecting a very secluded little cottage in the mountains but this is what we got and we made the best of it and we stayed, stayed there for one night and uh, it's just uh, very close to this little water stream here. This road that we are that we took here, Route 606, it's a route that's on its way to Monteverdi. But where we booked the Airbnb, we thought it's close to Monteverdi, just to discover it's actually quite a far way off. So we have changed our booking to. Uh... Hello, Liffy. Hello. <laughs> so we've changed our booking. Uh, we were going to sleep two nights. And then we change it to sleep in one night only because we still want to move on tomorrow. But this is basically it. Nothing fancy, really not. This is our rental. And uh, one side of the apartment is somebody else's. The one we have is the one at the back there. It's quite okay. It's all right. The road is right here. So the cars go past our place right there so uh, uh but it's okay for one night or two nights even it has wi-fi aircon fitted kitchen everything we need is totally okay very basic okay so we are we we stayed at the on route 606 that's the route that goes up all the way to monte verde and uh, we were actually expecting a quiet little cottage up in the mountains 
not realizing that this this place where we live these are the stayed last night is right on the road here you can see it's right right next to the road and there we have uh, my my girl hanging some uh, washing today <laughs> Yeah, so when you come down there, what's really nice about the place, there's our rental car, there's a little house, there's a street, it's a busy street. There's cars and trucks coming past here, and motorbikes all the way. And um, so like I say, we expected a bit of a quiet uh, place, but it wasn't like that at all. From four o'clock this morning, the roosters were going crazy, so excited about the new day. And you can see the, the little river is just running down there, which is really, really, really nice. It's a nice, uh, in a sense we were a little bit disappointed because we were expecting a bit of a quiet place up in the mountains but then again we also experienced the costa rican lifestyle in the not in the city you know outside of the city so uh, it was not bad all in all we uh, kind of felt this is okay so we're going to be moving on today and we're going to the to the area of san jose and then uh, but all in all this was uh, this was quite nice Yes, and so all of a sudden we were blessed with some rain coming down here at our little accommodation. fence on the right hand side take note it's uh, it looks like trees instead of poles and they actually call these uh, growing poles or living poles they plant them as uh, poles but in fact uh, they keep on growing and then they just have to trim them every now and then uh, we are now coming to the area of Caldera uh, with the Pacific Ocean on the right hand side we're gonna stop for a snack here and uh, just see what they have. We like supporting the locals and uh, supporting okay, the Okay, it's a thousand, well. uh, two thousand uh, Costa Rican polo. I don't know exactly what we're buying. Let's have a drop the coffee for. Okay. Say gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. That's cheap. Not nice. <laughs> we are just basically trying this stuff out here. Yeah. Seeing what is what. Let's go try something else. Good news is we actually had some beef susatis there as well. So we're at the end of this video. Thank you for, uh, for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. That will just help us to get the word out there. Thanks for watching.